at a dress, if you could imagine a little circle right here at my left shoulder, okay? So that circle has a dot in the middle of it. That's the center of my shoulder socket. The basic premise of the pullback run up and jump is I'm gonna pull that shoulder back and down and around. Then when it gets back to a vertical line here through that dot, it's gonna be well under where it was at a dress. So here it is at a dress, pull back, around and down, and then on this run up, it's gonna get under that original location. And then when that club is just barely below, parallel to the ground, this left shoulder socket is gonna travel fully six inches further back, six inches further up, and six inches further in. On the backswing, the pullback, with an iron, you're gonna turn and stay tilted. Your shoulder's gonna move back about seven inches out this way, out away from you, about five and down about four. That movement, if you get to the top of the swing and let your left arm hang, you'll be able to touch your left knee. If you don't pull it back far enough, but it goes down enough, your hand will pretty much hang on the outside of your left knee. So from there, which is near the top of the backswing, you're gonna start using the ground to sort of twist out your shoe and start running up toward this left foot. Your shoulder's gonna travel back toward the target five inches, and it's also gonna go down another inch. That's a position that you will recognize from looking at swing sequences of the great players, but a lot of people don't know they're trying to do it. When you start jumping, when you've hit that low point of that shoulder, the first part of the jump, your shoulder's gonna go a little bit further forward, and this club is gonna get just below parallel to the ground. It's gonna have a lot of force pulling away from you. You might wanna use everything that you can muster to pull upward on this grip and resist the outward pull of the club head. Some of the best LPGA players and young junior players will even get up on their toes to help get that shoulder up and resist that force. If you can pull just a little harder than the club is pulling out on you, you get a little extra power boost from shortening your hand radius called parametric acceleration. Give you a couple of extra yards and more importantly, a nice shallow tour-like angle of attack. So remember folks, pull that shoulder back, good seven inches, run up about five inches, start to jump, get it forward of where it was at the dress, and then do the six, six, and six and feel like you're flinging that ball back, keeping your chest back and your hips forward. You'll hit it better than you ever have before.